Good morning, it's day 58. It's, uh, the rain has stopped. It's still a little drizzly. Um, I'm pretty soaked. All my clothes are wet. It's pretty uncomfortable. I'm, I'm freezing. But I'm hoping once I start getting uh, moving uh, that I'll warm up. Um, it's going to be cool today and breezy, but tomorrow is supposed to be warm and sunny. So, better days ahead. I gotta get moving to generate some heat. This is the day I'm gonna try and generate some decent mileage. Um, not the 12 or 15 miles that I've been doing. I need to do more. I think I still have, I think it's like 25 or 29 miles to Stevens Pass. So I gotta make some good mileage today so I can get in there tomorrow morning and bask in the sun and warm up and dry out. Talk to you soon. This is an avalanche area and Ribs, who I'm hiking with, tells me that the Snow comes down here traveling 60 miles an hour and just breaks off the trees, which it has done so. Wow. This is my first water crossing here. And then once I get over to that rock island, there's another one on the other side. Pretty interesting. And this is Hiker Ribs coming down, man. Whoa! Good to have company. There it is, mid-August. 20 miles outside of Stevens, uh, south of Stevens Pass, and I'm hiking on snow. There is snow in the area, but it's largely not been underfoot. <clears throat> there are so many gigantic rock slides here. Uh, pretty dang big rocks. This rock over here, this has got to be like 25 feet high and 35 feet wide, just as a matter of scale. But uh, even when I was hiking a few days ago, I had passed a certain area and then I heard a thunderous clapping and rocks were coming down the hill behind me. Scared the heck out of you, out of me. That's where I came from. There's a mountain shedding rocks. Beautiful little grassy but soggy area. There's a little bit of a lake. More rocks everywhere and this is the trail. It's quite quite gorgeous. It's very cold and wet out here today and the trail is muddy. You have to uh, keep your eyes on places where and your poles planted so you don't slip and fall. That's where I came from. There's a mountain shedding rocks. Beautiful little grassy but soggy area. There's a little bit of a lake. More rocks everywhere and this is the trail. It's quite quite gorgeous. It's very cold and wet out here today and the trail is muddy. You have to uh, keep your eyes on places where and your poles planted so you don't slip and fall. Hey everyone, it's the end of day 58. I'm in my tent. It's cold outside. It was a wet day. Um, when, by the time I arrived at this tent location, I was shaking cold. My feet have been just sopping wet all day, and the, and the winds were blowing pretty hard. But um, they seem to have abated a little bit. But um, I did 18.5 miles today. Not not huge. <laughs> pretty pretty uh, haphazardly or... or slovenly compared to past mileage, but uh, I only have about 10 or 11 miles into town, which is really what I'm looking for. And uh, I got to get into town. I have time-sensitive package pickup. It's only open 10 to 4. So I'll get up at a decent time and um, have to put on freezing, cold, wet socks. Uh, not good. And, um, and then hike into town. And it's supposed to start warming up. In fact, it's supposed to get hot, which is hard to believe since it's been so cold lately. But uh, this has been four days of rain that have been more miserable than I imagined. And I guess I've been blessed on my 58 days on the trail. 
that this is really the only rain I've experienced. So um, it was good for the forest that it is raining and good for fire prevention as well. But um, I guess I've been, um, I've been lucky to avoid the rain to date. Talk to you soon. Good morning, day 59, about 11 miles to Stevens Pass. And I'm going to get a resupply, and I think I'm going to try and find, a, there's a motel down the road. I'm just uh, thoroughly soaked and would really like to dry out. So I expect by the end of the day, it'll be a very good day. And it's it's not as cold as right now as it was yesterday. So the sun's starting to come up, which will be great. And I will talk to you soon. I uh, don't think I've seen the sun in four days. This is just amazing. It's already warming my body and my soul. Hey guys, I'm at the Cascadia Inn. It's day, end of day 59. I'm waiting to check in. Um, can't check in until four o'clock, so I'm just kind of hanging out. And um, yeah, I hiked um, 13, maybe 14 miles today <laughs> to get to Stevens Pass. Then I got my resupply package and then I hitched um, to get down to this town. And now I'm here and all is well. Looking forward to getting in my room, taking a shower doing my laundry and having dinner and breakfast and good night's rest and uploading videos and that'll be it so if that's not enough and there's the train going behind me <laughs> uh, very nice this is the old town of Skycomish it's quite small very nice <laughs>